Her life is a mosaic of broken bones and bruises battering her skin. The sky cries salty tears for a girl that has always been alone. Watching the red lines appear on her arms, she feels joy for the first time that day. Her pale wrists look like battlefields. Each horizontal scar represents a battle lost with herself. Crimson drops running down her skin, spelling out stories of heartbreak. No one loves you. She is a patchwork quilt of false hope lost faith and an eternity of feeling unwanted. She lives in a world that orbits loneliness and spins at a degree of abandon. She watches the stars through a telescope of hopes and fears, knowing she will only ever reach them in her dreams, but her dreams are plagued by Facebook messages. Crude words etched into her brain like the scars etched into her forearms. She always wears black. And people ask her why. I'm dressing for my funeral apparently isn't an acceptable answer. People look at her strangely like she's some kind of freak. And that's what they see. Unwanted, ugly. Worthless words used by her father to describe his creation. She tries not to listen when he stumbles home at midnight holding a bottle of his heartbreak. She swears she can see her mother in the corner shaking her head in disappointment, but it's just her imagination because she doesn't believe in ghosts. She is a beautiful miracle filled to the brim with potential, but all he sees is disappointment. Too blind to see what's in front of him, too caught up in his own sorrow, she's just one more person lost to the horrific web of foul insults and vile words that has pr produced a society of monsters. She is just one more person left unwanted. Thank you. Stephanie Werner, ladies and gentlemen.